Yes, it's finally here. The World Cup mode. And here's a video I was always going to do. And that's winning the World Cup with England. Do I think we're good enough to win it this year? Of course I do. We're going all the way. This group stage is a piece of piss. Tunisia and Panama. We're going to roll them over. Belgium. They might have a better team on paper. They might have a better player in every position. We're going to sit them down. Let's just have a look at our team. Five at the back. To be fair, I wouldn't mind that. Hang on. Joe Hart in goal. What's going on here? There's no Nick Pope. Why is there no Nick Pope? Anyway, let's create our starting 11. Pickford is going between the sticks. Where's Trent as well? We've got Jagielka in the yard, but not Trent. Let's change the formation to our 4 2 3 1. That's what I can see him going for. So we've got Pickford goalkeeper, Walker right back. I can't be having Phil Jones at centre back. I don't really want Cahill or Small in either, though. Why not? Let's have Maguire centre back. Next to him, Stones left back, Rose. Oh, Jack Wilsh, it's a tragedy that you didn't go. Look at the state of that partnership. Henderson and Dyer, the two CDMs. Dele Alli will be the man behind Harry Kane. Sterling on the right, Rashford on the left. You know what? Now I'm going to go with. Lingard, and then the one, the only, Captain Fantastic, Harry Kane. Our whole tournament depends on if he can bag the goals. Oh, Christ. Just looking at that squad now. Not exactly world beaters, are they? So, first game of the tournament for England is, of course, against Tunisia. They're actually ranked 14th in the world. That's one above England. But the thing is, how many Tunisia players can you name? I only recognise one, and that was Kazri. It's a game you'd expect us to win, but you can easily see a nil-nil happening in real life. Lingard was the first man for us to grab as a goal. Tidy finish. How about this for a strike, though? Pickford beaten. I would try pronouncing his name, but I don't want to embarrass myself. <laughs> what a goal. Dyer evades the slide challenge. Into Kane. Kane sees the run of Lingard. Lingard into the box. An easy goal. A tap-in for Jamie Vardy. 2-1. Five minutes left to play. And they could easily have got an equaliser there. Jesus. On to Panama, who are literally part-timers. I watched a documentary on him the other day. Their team consists of chefs and farmers. You thought Iceland was bad. If we don't get a convincing result against these, then forget it. It'd be the biggest upset ever. Harry Kane, though, in this game has scored two belters. One with his left, one with his right. He's clean through on goal. Gets taken out by their captain, Torres. I thought it was a fair challenge. He gets sent off. you think I'd go on to make it a cricket score, but we only get one more, and that's Deli Alley with the header. 3-0. Final group game is against the dark horse of the competition, Belgium. They have a frightening array of talent. Harry Kane and maybe Kyle Walker are the only two players that would get into that side. Straight from the training ground with this corner, headed down to Lingard. Keeper saves. Almost parried it to a white shirt. Jordan Pickford for us had an unreal performance between the sticks. That save particularly is outrageous. How did he get a glove on it? 66 minutes in, it's Deli Ali rising above the rest. Straight onto his noggin and into the back of the net. Whoever wins this game tops the group. Now we're hitting them on a counter-attack. Vardy out wide to Sterling. He's got the pace. Needs to pick out a pass. There's three options in the box. There's one arriving. It's been pulled back to Vardy. Blocked. Deli Ali wrestling with his man. Sits him on his arse. Harry Kane is the option. It's gone to Harry Kane. He slots it past him. Great finish. May have been a shaky start, but we won the group. Three wins out of three. So let's see who qualified out of each of the groups. Is there any shocks? Uruguay and Russia go through, knocking Mo Salah out. Portugal and Spain, obviously. France and Denmark. No real surprises anywhere. Argentina, Croatia, Brazil, Switzerland, Germany, Mexico. Belgium came second in our group, of course. And then Poland and Colombia qualify. In the knockout stage, we have Colombia. If we had a came second in the group, we would have got Poland. Spain have knocked Uruguay out. 4-3 on penalties. France beat Croatia 1-0. So it's Spain versus France in the quarters. Brazil have got Mexico. So, if we win this, we've probably got Brazil. Then it's Portugal v Denmark. Denmark beat Argentina 2-0. Fair play. So, Colombia. Let's have it then. James Rodriguez and his boys. Three minutes in. Maguire gets sold. Pickford comes running out and he gets Megs. It's not a great start. But 
Goes from bad to worse. Rodriguez knocks it back to Torres. A 1-2. He shoots. He scores. 2-0 down. And we haven't even played 10 minutes. Could this be an early exit? Well, I won't say early exit. A lot of people are predicting England to go out at this stage. Great feat by Sterling. Harry Kane really should be burying that chance. Kane finds the run of Raheem Sterling. Sterling finishes it. And I just thought, right. There's always someone that says something about sliders. Just give it a rest. Henderson whips one into the mix. Harry Kane, great header, but the flag's up. He's offside. Second half, still in need of an equaliser. Dyer, lovely pass into Sterling. Sterling with the delivery. Harry Kane, although he'll claim he got the last touch. That came off the Colombian. Own goal with three minutes left to play. It's our super sub. Marcus Rashford It's late, but it's great. The Man United man sends Colombia packing. Books our place into the quarter-final. On to another South American team. You see Neymar warming up. We've got Brazil. How far do you think they could go in this competition? I think they've got a much better team than they had four years ago when they hosted it. It's the two Tottenham players linking up again, though. Ali this time goes for the chip. Probably should have put his foot through it. Now, this is something that scares me. The likes of Firmino and Neymar running at our defence. So easy. The Liga 1 player of the year just skips past John Stones like he's not even there. 1-0 to Brazil, but that's where I made two changes. On comes Marcus Rashford and Jamie Vardy. It's Rashford to play it into the box. Kane. Ah, oh, should be burying it. Five minutes left on the clock. I'm on all-out attack. Rashford to Henderson. He pings it into the feet of John Stones. John Stones, great ball to Rashford. He does it again. Hero. Great assist by John Stones, though. This one went to extra time. Kane into Ali. Ali lifts it over the keeper. It's a lovely little chip. Yes, we'll watch that again. You've got to love it. 2-1. After we scored, it was wave after wave. And we were throwing bodies at it. Watch this for a tackle. Danny Rose. That's what we want as England fans. If you're going to go out, go out fighting. But that wasn't the case in this match. Harry Kane. What a finish. It doesn't matter if it's on his left or his right. It's off the post and in. Brazil managed to pull one back in added time through Marcelo. But the job was done. On to France in the semi-final. We have the belief now. After beating Belgium, Colombia and Brazil. I felt we had enough to beat what many believe to be the tournament favourites. Maguire wins possession back. Kane knocks it one more. Deli Ali. Has he got the pace here? He's got Sterling in support. Tries to find him. It falls for the volley. What a hit, son. Deli Ali is the player of the tournament. He's running the show. Mbappe plays it to Matuidi. Matuidi thinks he's pulled his nation level. But the flag was up. And I honestly think FIFA's got that wrong. He didn't look offside. From that resulting decision. The player out from the back. Sterling. Galloping forward. Kane's made a good run. We find Harry Kane. The touch. The bang. 2-0. It all seems too good to be true. But are you starting to believe? That's the purpose of this video. Lingard shifts it onto his right. Good effort. Just wide of the post. But here Henderson. One mistake. Tries to clear it. Hits Griezmann. And he punishes him. Antoine with a fresh trim and an even cleaner finish. Still 2-1 up though. And still knocking on the door. Lingard, another effort. Just wide of the post. Rashford wins the header. Vardy looks for his strike partner. Harry Kane with the little shimmy. Kane back onto his right. And he sealed it. There's the goal that takes England to the World Cup final. Captain Fantastic. Unreal, boys. So we have Portugal in the final. Before we play it, let's have a look at top goal scorers. Sm Smoloff. Am I supposed to know who that is? Because I don't. He's tied on six with Griezmann and Harry Kane. Ronaldo's got five, but of course there's that one game remaining. Assist, Ronaldo's got four. Dele Alli's got four. Kane with three. Vardy with three. Clean sheets. We only have two for Jordan Pickford. Here we go then, boys. This is the team I'm going for. What is Danny Drinkwater doing in the side? There we go. <laughs> Still not much of an improvement. <laughs> Come on then, England. This is it. We still haven't forgotten what that man did to us in 2006, was it? Yeah, it was. I'm talking about the wink. If there's any team I'd love to beat in this World Cup, Portugal. Oh, my God, there it is. 
just there's no way Harry Kane's lifting that, is he? <laughs> I'm just coming to the realization. No, forget that. We're in it to win it. We shouldn't be aiming for quarterfinals or semi-finals. Zero expectations this year, so we might just do it. This is the pinnacle. Come on, England. All right, Portugal are going for a 4-1, 3-2. Silva and Ronaldo and up top. Let's keep the big man quiet. From the off. Come on, England. Get stuck in. Dele Alli nicks possession back. Plays into Harry Kane. The 1-2. It's great football. Harry Kane. Ooh. Unlucky good start. Win that header. Win that header. Well done, Dyer. Dele Alli. Into Kane. Kane, long way out. Oh, straight down the keeper's throat. Bernardo Silva. Maguire to stand him. The shot. What a goal. Where has that come from? Andre Silva, no. It's outside the foot. It's outrageous. Top corner. Take a bow. Has it took a nick off the player? No. Just straight in. Pickford, not a chance. Chin up, boys. Come on. We've started the better team. Walker, get up that line. Give it to Sterling. Carry on that run. Walker's gone. Walker, you're in. Look for Kane. Oh, pull back. Should have gone alone. Uh oh, Silver to Samada. Good tackle. Out we go. Go on then, Lingard. Go on then. Give it. One more. Sterling's on his bike. Beat him, Sterling. Knock it through. Kane. Back to Sterling. Sterling. No. The whole goal's there. He's got no left foot. Why are we giving Stones a card as well? Oh, yeah, wait. I oh, don't mind that. Just letting Ronaldo know. Just letting him know. Oh, what a ball. Not Ronaldo. He's buried it. He's only gone and buried it. Ronaldo, don't do the celebration. Oh, my God. It had to be him. They've gone 2-0 up. One through ball. We're sleeping at the back. And that's a clinical finish. First time. Oh dear, not 2 nil. I'm not doing this thing all over again. No, no. Ronaldo, he's in the post. Jesus Christ. We'll have half time, ref. We'll have half time. All right, we're lucky. We're lucky we've only conceded two. Not wasting any time in making the change. Two in up top. Off goes Jesse Lingard. On comes Jamie Vardy. Go and get me a goal, son. Walker. To Dyer. Walker's continued his run. Can Henderson find him? Has he got it in the locker? What a pass. Walker gets there. Into Vardy. Vardy hits one. Oh. Rose. Into Dyer. Pick it into the feet. But Vardy out wide. Go on then, Walker. Get up that line. Mixer. Deli Alley. Trying to knock it back down. It's fell to Henderson. Oh. Give it to Kane. Kane knocks it back to Henderson. Reem Sterling to Kane. Ali into the mixer. Poor ball, really. Walker, get there. Kyle Walker. Oh, what a goal. Grab the ball. Grab the ball. Kyle Walker, where has that strike come from? We're back in it. 2-1. Loads of time. We just need one more. One more goal. Ali, great feet. Knock it. Good ball. Sterling. Back to Kane. One more to Ali. Deli Ali. No. Keep the shot down, Deli. Right, it's time for our super sub to come on. Off goes Eric Dyer. On comes Marcus Rashford. We're going all out. Kane. Makes a nuisance of himself. Harry Kane. Strikes one. Patricia is having such a good game. Henderson. Into Ali. Sterling. To Rashford. Rashford. Don't lose it here. Great feet. Sterling's the man. Sterling into Kane. Back to Sterling. Yes. From 2-0 down. The three lines have pulled it back to 2-2. It's heroic. It's a lovely team goal. The 1-2 between Harry Kane and Sterling there. We're just completely undone. The Portugal defence. And now we should have the momentum to go on and score one more and get the winner. I'm taking John Stones off because he's got a yellow card. On comes Phil Jones. I say we go for it. Fonte loses it. Henderson, send. Yes, it's two against one here. Harry Kane and Vardy. Knock it to him. Vardy! No! Ronaldo trying to knock it up. Phil Jones sweeps it up. Sterling. 
with the scoop. Gets past him. Lovely play by Raheem Sterling. Needs a good delivery. Harry Kane! Yes! Get in there, boys. Harry Kane might just have won the World Cup for England from 2-0 down. Three Lions have made it 3-2. Great delivery from Sterling. He was just never going to miss. Right, there's literally a minute left. There's literally a minute left. He's offside. He's offside. Yes. That should be it. That's going to be it. Knock it up. There you go. Final whistle. England beat Portugal 3-2. And this is just a sign of things to come. I said it. Harry Kane will be lifting that trophy. 2018 World Cup in Russia. It's England. I mean, it's not. We're going to get knocked out in the round of 16. But, God, to stay optimistic. Okay. I've got a few videos on the way. The World Cup Ultimate Team mode, I literally got one of the best players in the game in the starter pack. That series will be coming out very soon. I've also got an Unai Emery rebuild, but for now, that's going to be it. I thank you for watching. If you enjoyed it, then please give it a like. Subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you in a bit.